Hi friends and welcome back. So guys, I am here to share my Walgreens couponing haul for the deals that started on Sunday, November the 11th. Now, in my opinion, there's not a ton of deals going on this week at Walgreens, especially not any spend this, get this back in points deals. However, there are some pretty decent deals to be had on paper products as well as grocery items to go ahead and utilize your points on. Now, since we can only do up to 5,000 points per transaction, I did a ton of separate transactions just to get all the goodies that I wanted to get. I did end up shopping over two cards. So this here is one account and then here is another account. Now what I have always done and what I always try to do in order to maximize my savings and also work on building up a stockpile in any category that I may need to, whether that's paper products, personal care items, um, pantry stock, etc., is that I will just double up on the particular deals and promotions between each course. So as you see, I got the exact same product um, on each account. Again, this is just a way for me to maximize my overall savings and build up that stockpile and so on. So let's hop right into it. So the first transaction I did was on the Caress deal. So this week, Caress is on sale. Select Caress is on sale for $2.99 each. The promotion is when you buy three, you will get a $5 register reward back. So let me show you the math on that. So on the caress, again, $2.99 each. You buy three, you get a $5 register reward. So the total comes to $8.97. I had a total of $3 in manufacturing coupons from the app. So there is an app coupon for a dollar off the caress mouthwash, a dollar for the toothpaste, and then a dollar on the um, toothbrush. Once all those coupons are applied, the total came to $5.97. I utilized $5 in points, which is 5,000 points. So my total came to $0.97 cent plus tax, and I did receive the $5 register reward. Now, the one good thing about register rewards is that they're not linked to any account. So if I want to take this reward and use it on another account to do another deal, I can definitely do so. However, I could not use this register reward to do the exact same deal. The way these work here is if you do the exact same deal that issued the register reward, you will not get another one in return. So if I only had $5 now and I did want to go ahead and get another mouthwash, another toothpaste, and another um, toothbrush on a different account, that way I build up a little stock of these items here, I can do so and I can use this. However, I would not get another $5 reward back. So again, you can use a register reward however you choose to, but if you use it for the exact same deal that is given the reward, you will not get another one back. So just keep that in mind. So what happened here is that I paid with points and then I earned a register reward. Okay, moving on to the next transaction. I picked up Scott paper towel and a Scott toilet paper. This week they're on sale, buy one, get one 50% off. Regular price is $5. So for one would be five and then the second one, $2.50. So let's look at that math. So $2.50 and $5 at $7.50 total. There's app coupons for $0.75 cent on each. So $0.75 cent on the paper towel and then $0.75 cent for the um, toilet paper. That brings your total down to $6. I utilize $5 in points. Again, that is 5,000 points. So it left my total at a dollar plus tax out of pocket. And then there is a dollar cashback offer on Ibotta for the Scott Comfort Plus. These here, there is a cashback for a dollar on Ibotta. So that pretty much makes this absolutely free after I get that dollar back on Ibotta. So there you go again. So don't forget to make sure you have that clip to your account and double check when you're in the store that um, you have the rebate and it is, um, is for this particular Scott. When I scanned it on my card, it worked no problem and it actually had that Scott pictured on my app. So moving on. All right, the grocery deals that I picked up, the Mac Cafe coffees, they're on sale this week for $4.99. We have a dollar insert coupon making it $3.99. 
The sugar is on sale for $1.49. We have a 75 cent insert coupon, making it 74 cents. So what I did, oh, and then the water. The water is on sale this week for $3.99. This is a 24 pack. Um, there's no coupons to go with that, but at $3.99, that's really not a bad um, price, especially since I'm going to be utilizing points to pay for it. So what I did is I did one Mac Cafe coffee and one sugar in a transaction. And then I did one water and one sugar in a transaction. And again, I just repeated that to get the quantity that I wanted. So let me show you that. So the coffee again, $4.99, the sugar $1.49. It comes up to $6.48. I utilized that dollar off one for the coffee and 75 cent off one for the sugar. Left my total at $4.73. I utilized 4,000 points, which is $4, leaving my total at $0.73 cent plus tax. And again, that would be on the coffee and the sugar. And then I did the same thing with the water and the sugar. So my total came out to be the exact same price. And I have that written down to show you. So $5.48 minus that $0.75. Cent. So that would be $4.73. I utilized the 4,000 points. $0.73 cent plus tax is what I ended up paying for the water as well as the sugar and then let me show you the coupons here and these are insert coupons remember guys you can go to coupontom.com to locate which insert a coupon came from if you're unsure so there you have it there again i just did the exact same deals on both of my accounts use um using points that i had already accumulated and points that we got from last week and then on top of that Walgreens is so silly. They give me another one of these 7,000 point boosters when you spend 25 or more on eligible products. I mean, they just keep giving us all these point boosters, but yet we can only do 5,000 per transaction. So nonetheless, I did a ton of transactions. I got out of line a few times to let other people go in front of me so I wouldn't be holding up the line. But yeah, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do to get the deals that you need to get and to stay within budget and so on. So for everything that you see here on the table, my total came out to $7.59 cash out of pocket. Um, yeah, that's $7.59 cash out of pocket. And then I got back a register reward for each one of the Crest deals. So I got back five here. And then I got back five for this one. So $10 in register rewards. I'm going to look through the ad to see if there's anything worthwhile to use them on this week. If not, I'm going to hold on to them. Um, for next week and especially since I have this spin perk it'll be perfect to utilize those register rewards to cover um, the spin perk All here. Alright guys so really quickly I forgot to mention that this box here had a coupon for a free Egg McMuffin. This was the only box in my store with the coupon attached so definitely keep your eyes out if you do pick up the Mac Cafe coffees at Walgreens this week. So that is a pretty sweet deal. Free Egg McMuffin. I will definitely be That's utilizing my plan. that. As always, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Definitely comment down below. Let me know what deals you scored at Walgreens this week. If you made it out. If you're planning to make it out, what are you planning to do? Definitely chat down below in the comments. And as always, thanks so very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. And until next time, guys, bye.